Hey guys, welcome to Investify, where we help you grow your wealth through smart investments. Today, we will talk about the commercial real estate crash in 2023. The commercial real estate market is in trouble. And the severity of the situation remains uncertain. Elon Musk's grave predictions and Jamie Dimon's warning highlight the seriousness of the issue. The Federal Reserve acknowledges the potential for a sizable correction and significant losses. With rising vacancies, escalating interest rates, and the looming threat to banks, the warning signs are evident. Join us as we delve into the expert opinions, providing a comprehensive analysis of the potential fallout that could have far-reaching implications for the economy. Brace yourself for a deep dive into the challenges facing commercial real estate in our exclusive status updates. Are you up to date with the state of commercial real estate? Let me bring you up to speed without any exaggeration. Influence figures such as Elon Musk, Jamie Dimon, and the Federal Reserve have voiced genuine concerns. But what exactly does commercial real estate encompass? It spans office, retail, hotel, and industrial spaces, all of which are facing formidable challenges. With remote work triggering a surge in office vacancies and property values on the decline, we face a potential compounding problem known as a doom loop. Banks are at risk and refinancing loans have become an uphill battle. Vigilant monitoring of the situation is crucial, as the implications for the economy and financial markets could be profound. Let's dive deeper into the details. The primary concern is the possibility of commercial real estate spiraling into doom loop, a cascade of compounding problems that exacerbate the situation. If property values plummet, banks reduce lending for commercial real estate, triggering further devaluation. Consequently, banks tighten credit standards for CRE, leading to additional price declines. This downward spiral perpetuates intensifying the problem. Indications suggest that doom loop may already be underway. In quarter one, CRE loans dropped by 56% compared to the previous year. The Mortgage Bankers Association reports that CRE lending has hit its lowest point since 2014. There are other challenges to consider as well. Investors, property managers, and developers are grappling with the need to refinance their commercial property loans. However, the situation becomes even more daunting when we observe the sharp increase in interest rates compared to a year ago, as highlighted by the Federal Reserve. This rapid rise in borrowing costs heightened the risk that commercial mortgage borrowers may struggle to refinance their loans as they come due. This scenario bears some resemblance to the adjustable rate mortgage or ARMs prevalent during the residential real estate crash roughly 15 years ago. Although CRE property owners didn't opt for adjustable rate mortgages, the similarity lies in the timing of property financing where the federal funds rate was near zero, contrasted with the need to refinance now as the rate stands at 5.25%. Approximately $1.5 trillion of commercial real estate debt requires refinancing within the next three years, with $450 billion due in 2023 alone. JP Morgan estimates that 20% of CRE loans could potentially default. Furthermore, this issue is just the tip of the iceberg. It's crucial to recognize that this situation poses a substantial problem for banks since they hold these loans. If property values plummet, banks will encounter significant trouble. Allow me to summarize the situation using vivid language. Imagine you're a bank that extends a loan of $100 million for me to acquire a property valued at $120 million. However, if the property's value takes a nosedive and sinks to $90 million, you as the bank find yourself in hot water. Why? Because you lent me $100 million for a property now worth only $90 million. If I am unable to make the monthly payments, you'll seize the property as collateral but you'll still be left grappling with a staggering $10 million loss. Banks face substantial exposure in the realm of commercial real estate. They provide loans to investors, property owners, and developers in the CRE sector. If an onslaught of defaults occurs and the value of the collateral plummets, it puts the banks at risk, unsettling the delicate balance of financial stability. 
On the onset of this year, banks had a colossal $700 billion tied up in loans for office buildings and downtown retailers, with smaller banks accounting for a significant chunk of $500 billion. To further complicate matters, interest rates are projected to climb higher throughout this year. Presently, the Fed funds rate stands at 5.25%. Expectations are rife that the Federal Reserve will ratchet up interest rates even more. In fact, J.P. Diamond, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, went so far as to suggest rates could soar as high as 7%. Diamond has issued a stark warning about the potential hazards that commercial real estate loans could unleash on U.S. banks. While J.P. Morgan Chase is expected to navigate the storm, he expressed concern for smaller regional banks that hold approximately 70% of all CRE loans. Elon Musk also has voiced his apprehension about commercial real estate. He asserted that it represents the most imminent and severe threat, comparing its impact to that of an anvil rather than a mere shoe. Musk underscored the alarming record of vacancies plaguing commercial real estate across numerous cities portending dire consequences, potentially even rocking the foundations of banks. Rest assured, the Federal Reserve is well aware of the situation and diligently monitoring the commercial real estate landscape. Their financial stability report concedes the looming potential for a significant correction in property values capable of inflicting substantial credit losses upon holders of commercial real estate debt. Indeed, Jay Powell, the Federal Reserve Chair, acknowledges the gravity of the commercial real estate situation and asserts their vigilance in monitoring it. The Vice Chair echoed this sentiment, emphasizing their meticulous scrutiny of commercial real estate risks. They are fully cognizant of the situation and actively keeping a watchful eye. When it comes to predictions of a looming crash, Morgan Stanley paints a stark picture projecting a potential 40% plunge in commercial real estate prices, surpassing the impact of the great financial crisis. It's a chilling forecast that sends shivers down the spine. Yet amidst the gloomy outlook, Bank of America offers a glimmer of hope, suggesting that fears of a catastrophic crash may be overstated. They point out that only 70% of commercial real estate debts will mature this year, with office properties accounting for a mere 4%. Bank of America deems this is a modest figure, indicating that the overall health of the commercial real estate market may not be tithering on the edge of calamity. As we weigh these contrasting viewpoints, the exact gravity of the situation remains elusive. Nonetheless, it's imperative to remain vigilant. For if commercial real estate faces formidable challenges, the repercussions could reverberate through the banking sector, the economy, and the financial markets. Such a tempest could unleash a chain reaction, dragging down stock markets, unsettling retirement accounts, and casting a shadow over pension funds. The time is yours. We eagerly await your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell for more updates here on Investify.